Hi guys, we're going to look at what social engineering is today, and it's a very short lesson, so uh, sit back, relax, get some popcorn, and let's talk about social engineering. So like, what is social engineering? What does that even mean? Is it like a new job? Something you can study for? Probably yes, but <laughs> that's not what we're going to go into, okay? Basically, this is social engineering, okay? The first part of it is tricking someone into revealing personal or private information about themselves, like a password or their bank access details or something like that. But it's basically the whole process of tricking them, getting them to reveal something or tell you something that you can use against them or to hack into some sort of an account of theirs or something like that. Uh, another definition could be deceiving someone to gain access to confidential information uh, or a secured space like a secret room or something like that, you know, like a secret lair <laughs> or a safe in a bank or something i don't know um just by pretending to be somebody else like like a, like an authority figure all right so like your mom okay yes we're all scared of our moms come on what's your email password what's your facebook password what's your twitter password it's mom see so someone's pretending to be someone else to get your secret information so how they how do they do this okay it could come in any form guys it could come like this guy all right like i'm your friend from floor 73 I need your bank account to transfer some money into for my uncle. Hey, good guy, me, you, we're friends, huh? That I don't even know this guy. You don't even know this guy. I don't think anyone actually knows this guy. Um, sorry, buddy. But they pretend to be someone who works with you in the same building and then pretend to be your friend and, and like say, oh, you know what, man, can you just, uh, I've got a bank account and I've got all this money, but I've got to get rid of some of the money because of tax, this, would you mind keeping the money for me? Could I have your bank details? Or you could be like this guy, like, hey, uh, it's Bob from IT. Your account has been locked and uh, you need to give me your password so I can help you unlock it. Don't you like my American accent? I've been working on it. No, I haven't. But I did try it now and it sounded pretty cool. So I'm not going to edit that out. Anyway, you can have somebody pretend to be from a department and say like, oh, you know, there's a problem with your computer and it's been locked and I need your password to unlock it. And you go, oh, okay, mister, sure thing. And then you give them your password and yeah, it's over, man. They've got access to everything. Or they could be like this guy, little guy. Okay, a maintenance. You know, hey, I'm from maintenance and I'm fixing your power generator today. So I need, I need access to the back, you know, where you keep all the important stuff and please let me in, you know. So... Basically, guys, social engineering is engineering or working with someone to get them to reveal private personal stuff, give you access to private personal areas, and you're engineering that, like you're making that happen on a social level. Does that make sense? I hope it does. If not, go back to the beginning, look at those first two definitions. But there you go, social engineering.